Floss Tube. Hi, Floss Tube. I'm Chris. I'm Jane. And we have the Boss Stitchers. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Today is the 6th, yes. Little Christmas. Yes, January 6th. Epiphany. Uh huh. Yep. So, yep, yep. Happy. We have a little bit of holiday cheer. We're sipping a little bit of uh, eggnog. Yeah. Has a little bit of booze in it. <laughs> <laughs> Happy, New Happy Year New Year to our viewers. <laughs> and before we get mm. too silly, Today is episode 59. It yeah. is. <laughs> <laughs> so thanks for joining us. Great to have you along. So, so tell us your big news, Chris. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, I think I mentioned it last time. Yeah. But I'm now a newly minted retiree. Officially. Yeah, Officially. it's a week old today. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so yeah. far, so good. <laughs> I'm not going back. Have <laughs> yeah. oh, you gotten any phone calls? No. Des no. Desperate phone calls? I haven't. No. <laughs> no. No. Um, I actually had uh, kind of a tail end of a cold or something this week. Mm. So it's been a bit of a slower week, but that that's okay. Yeah. Um, nice. Certainly nice to mm -hmm. be able to sleep in and all that good stuff. Yeah. Not as much stitching as I hope in the future, but... That's you know, okay. There'll I be plenty to up. come. Yeah. There'll be plenty to come. Yeah. Yeah. Excellent. And of course, there were the holidays since yeah. we were here last. Right. Right. Um, right. We celebrated yeah. a lovely New Year's Day in your home. Oh, yeah. Um, uh, I have a open house uh, at my house every uh, New Year's Day. It's nice because a lot of people don't have much to do on New Year's yeah. Day. So it's, it's a great bookend uh, to the holiday yeah, season. Yeah, it's nice, you know, people just come over and, you know, it's very casual and uh, so. Um, Always many delicious things uh, to eat. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's a, it's a, it's a good time. And um, mm -hmm. I was really happy that uh, so many of uh, me and Howie's friends were able to come. Um, but I have to, I have to tell you one thing about, um, I got a Christmas <laughs> present from Howie that I have to show everyone oh. because I think it's hilarious. <clears throat> so he gave me this t-shirt <laughs> and it took Chris a minute I, to, to, took, to figure it out, but, it took longer than I can't <laughs> But I think it's hilarious, and I want to find a cross-stitch chart because I would love to cross-stitch this. I just think it's really funny. <laughs> that is good. <laughs> good one for Howie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, I think we should get into it. I think we should. Do you want to throw out the first stitch? I'd love to. Okay. All right. Play ball! <laughs> Aside from something to be, you know, unveiled later in a different category. Oh, oh. I think I only had. <laughs> I don't want to tease. I know. <laughs> two whips. One of which was a new star. And it's borscht by Owl Forest Embroidery. Mm. I love this one. You can't beat those Owl Forest colors. and Yeah. Yeah. It really is great. I uh, just give you a little, I kind of disassembled it, you know, once I started working on it. But just to kind of give you an idea of those gorgeous colors. Mm. Mm -hmm. Really beautiful. Look at all those reds, huh? I know. Aren't those gorgeous? Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 Um, so I got a little start on that when I was, uh, thank you, Randy's at the World in Stitches. Just a bit. It wasn't probably the best thing to have picked to work at <laughs> on a stitch day since um, this is 200 by 200. So I did want to count rather carefully, mm -hmm. which isn't always done when chanting with friends. Um, so, those colors, though. Yeah. 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 
So that's very Finn nice. William and that one. And, very nice. um, you know, our forest kind of does the whole thing. It comes with the needle miner mm -hmm. and the fabric, which um, this is a 28 count uh, mushroom linen, I believe. Mm -hmm. And the, everything about them is terrific. Yeah. Yeah. Nice to stitch on. Yeah, very yeah. nice. Yeah, I actually bought this right before the war in Ukraine broke out. Mm. I have two so, owl forest embroidery kits that you, I need to start. I've had them. Yeah. I've had them now for a couple of years, and time to right time to right. start those. Yeah, <clears throat> I e have, eggnog kicking in. Yeah, I think that's it. <laughs> So, certainly not the uh, heat at our house. So. <laughs> no, it's, it's it's chilly today. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, I guess you'll get to the uh, yes, weather. That's a little right. Bit later. We'll talk about weather. Yeah. Yes. All right. Yeah. So mm -hmm. I do have one other one, and this is one you've all seen many a time. And this is my sweet as pie plastic summer kit. Uh, well, I tend to do it in the summer by the pool. So you're thinking, gee, Chris, it's mm. January. Uh -huh. But I only have one left. So I put that on my, um, I'm doing the Whip Warriors 23 and 23 this year. And of course, we're doing Boss Me. And I put that on since I don't want to wait until summer to finish it. So this is the last one. And that is Boston Cream Pie, which Jane, mm -hmm. if I recall, that's Howie's favorite. It is Howie's favorite. That was his birthday cake. Yeah. Which is also on January 1st. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, what was I going to say about that? I guess just that. Yeah. yeah I wanted to. Yeah. Kind of not no, so this came with, with everything. The kit. The right. Thing. Yep. That's tins, and then at the, the end, things there'll that, be yeah. a little yeah. posters yeah. to make. Yeah. Great. Um, yeah. This is like a great just bring along with you to an appointment and that kind of thing. Oh, I know what I was going to say. So um, we'll talk a little more about Boss Me later, but I have um, a couple of projects this month, and one of which is a Last Stitch Cemetery which mm -hmm. Tracy, OG Stitchery, and I were doing with a uh, Sal with Kristen from the World of Stitches. And Kristen, of course, done, mm -hmm. framed, mm -hmm. looks beautiful. Yep. Tracy and I still plugging along. I don't think Tracy wants to be behind me. <laughs> so I told her that I had five days on Boss Me for Last Stitch Cemetery. Oh. And I had five days on a project that I might actually be able to finish. So I told her I might combine those and work 10 days. Oh, uh -huh. I'm really not going to. I really work the five days and maybe five days plus, I think, on this one to get that done. So well, we had it. talked about, uh, you know, I was talking about Last Stitch Cemetery too. And this year, I have no, I can do whatever I want. <laughs> I'm not doing no new starts. I'm not doing Whip Warriors. You're I can start all you? the things. So maybe I can join in the cell now. You sure can. <laughs> it's not too late. <laughs> There's a spot for you. Well, speaking, speaking of uh, cells with Tracy, Tracy and I have a cell going with um, Samhain and Salem, which Ooh, is the hemlock right, and rye right. um, uh, pattern. And um, Are you still in the lead on that one? I think so, but, but Tracy's gaining, yeah. Um, she on, might be closing in. Yeah, yeah, but... Um, on my boss me board, I have to finish a house. So, oh, okay. <clears throat> but those houses are no joke. Yeah, yeah, um, that's for sure. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, yeah, I tell you know, what, I think I am a little bit ahead, but you know, like I keep telling Tracy, it's it's not a competition, you know, <laughs> but I am winning. <laughs> so. <laughs> It's not a competition yet. Yeah. <laughs> right, yeah. <laughs> so, 
Um, that's it? Yeah. Yeah, I think that's okay. it. All right. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so I've decided that for 2023, I'm really going to try to stick to Mill Hill Mondays and stitch Ooh. on a Mill Hill kit every okay. Monday. And um, the, um, the one that I'm working on right now, speaking of Tracy, this is a bag that yeah, she gave me. I love it, and it perfectly fits my um, Mill Hill. Yeah. Um, so I'm doing the series of uh, Christmas Village. I have, I don't even know how many um, of these kits that I have, but... The, but you are building an addition just in case, right? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> um, but the one I started with, this is the Mill Hill uh, Buttons and Beads Winter Series Christmas Village, and I started with tree farm and this is tree farm Ooh. and um it uh <clears throat> um i don't have all of the stitching done but I have so much of the stitching done and I hadn't um, worked on this in a while. It was really hard for me to try to find my place for the stitching. So I ended up just starting the beading. Oh, so okay. now I'm just, um, I think what I'm gonna do is probably just work my way down and just do the stitching and the beading, um, you know, sort of together. Simultaneously. Yeah, yeah. I don't think there's a lot of stitches left um probably some down in here but um i don't know yeah you, um, so you've got a lot done on that yeah yeah no. so but i really want to do mill hill mondays i think that will really help me to you know move along on some yeah. of these because what i plan on doing is having my finisher do stand-ups um, or not stand up, so flat folds for all of them, and then actually have a little Christmas village. Yeah. Uh, so, and easy to pack away then, right? That's right. <coughs> I know. Not like these. Uh, what are they? The Charles Dickens, like the baby. Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Although uh, those are beautiful too. Yes. Yeah. Uh, the next thing I worked on just a little bit, but I re you know, again, I need to make progress on this. Stony Creek, Nature's Best for the Bath, um, this booklet. And I'm doing this chart here for a friend of mine whose birthday is I, um, a, a week from tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> um, anyway, this is called Under the Sea. Pulling a lot and, of late nights this week. Uh, well, I think what I'll do is just show her the progress. <laughs> But it will be done, I, you know, you've heard it here, folks. It's this will be done this year. Absolutely. No ifs, ands, or buts. Uh, so this is where I am. I worked, um, I just did a little bit of the um, coral here. And then I did a, just a little bit of this fish. Um I bet your and, friend is getting a taste for the pace that cross stitch progresses at. Yeah, so let me just where is the where is the chart? Let me just give you just a a, a snippet. <laughs> a, a, just a a quick little idea of what this chart looks like. And I think next I hear a time, justification coming. Ne <laughs> next time, I am for sure going to make sure <laughs> to pick my own chart to give her <laughs> for anybody. Because this has, oh, let me just let me just fold this. Because you can just see all the confetti. Let me just show you just a, a little snippet of this, and you can. I don't know if you can really see that, but I'll be a there witness. is just so much confetti in all of the fish and all of the coral. And um, I mean, it looks good. It does. I mean, it does. Yeah. Like, the colors are nice. It looks really good. 
Um, but that's Stony it, Creek for you, right? But, but it's <laughs> but it's a lot, so um, it'll be worth it when it's done. I'm gonna go over her house every <clears throat> week to take a look at it. <laughs> <laughs> Straighten it on the wall. That's like. right. Yeah. 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 Um, and then I'm going to go into a little bit of haul now because I have a project that I've already um, put into this. So um, Studio 88 West is now making these little uh, portfolios. They have a nice little snap on them. And when you open it, um, there's lots of little pockets in it. So these are like... Uh, we have like double pockets here and, you know, more pockets here, up here. There are um, two pockets, thing to put your needle on. There's a pocket back here. There's a place and for everything. And then uh, a zipper. Um, What's that with on the, the uh... vinyl? Oh, and yeah, then that's pretty. Yeah. Well, yeah. Oh, the, yeah. Yeah. Um, and then inside is where... I keep my chart and on the other side is big enough for a six by six um, Q snap. Wow. So it all fits very that nice in perfect. here. perfect. So um, I'm not sure if she has any more. This is Studio 88 West on Etsy. Um, and I like the fabric too. This is like, um, you know, kind of a beach motif with the umbrellas here and then on the inside is um oh beach like umbrellas beach like yeah so these are and then these are kind of like flags sea flags or beach flags or whatever but see the umbrellas yeah yeah wow so no detail yeah and it's nice that. it's quilted um yeah so she does a really nice job on these not sure if they there are any in her shop. Um, she has uh, these smaller ones and larger ones. Um, the la I got the last one of the smaller ones, um, but you know she's always adding to her shop, and I haven't checked recently. I don't know if she's she's made any more, but I know that these were like um, flying, Off the flying, shelf. Yeah. flying out of her shop. Uh, and I was just lucky uh, to be able to get one. Yeah. So anyway, what is in here is, um, I don't think I showed this. No, I? no, so I, don't think so. Um, I was doing some uh, Christmas stitching and I was trying to do nativity stitching. And this is a chart um, from Holly House Designs called um, Silent Night. Oh, that's right. You were extending your Christmas stitching through today, right? That's right. Yeah. Yes. And I didn't get a lot done on this. Um, but this is what I did get done. And let me take off part of the all Q snap. Right. I'm not taking it all off, though. We'll talk so. amongst ourselves. <laughs> That's beautiful fabric. What is that, Jane? Um, don't tell me. This is 32 count, it's called Twilight Blue, mm. but I don't know um, who makes it. Oh, I got this. So, oh, this out. okay. Um, so just a little bit of the border, a little bit of the crush, a little bit of the um, town. Very the nice. Uh, That's a different looking one so, too. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so, uh, Probably put this away for a little while mm. then, and um, but well, I, it's but in I a safe it's nice. place. And... Yeah, yeah, <laughs> right, yeah, um, yeah. So uh, probably going to stop doing some Christmas stitching for a while now. Uh, yeah. Maybe moving on to winter, winter stitching. Winter. Winter stitching. So, all right. And speaking of which, yes, yeah, speaking of winter, we had snow today. Um, it started off as just like a little mix. wintry mix, yeah. yeah. 
I saw a few flakes. I <laughs> she said, dove right into it. <laughs> right. I she said took to, her opportunity. That's right. I, I texted Chris and, and Missy and Kathy um, and said, it's snowing. <laughs> Guess what I'm going to be doing during lunch? <laughs> so, um, and that is working on my snow day project, which is button up. And um, making a couple of changes on this, I'm replacing this block with actually another Prairie Schooler um, chart. Um, this is Winter Wind. You know who's working on that? Winter um, Wind? Yes, hmm. Dee Dee Stitches, Doreen. Oh. Yeah, she posted that on Instagram. It looks lovely. Okay, yeah. nice. I thought she was doing the December one, not the winter one. Uh, with no one, Doreen, nope. she probably did <laughs> she's both done of them, them all. Right? Yeah, I she's know. An oh, yeah, she's a prolific yeah, stitcher. Yeah, she is. Yeah. yeah, she does beautiful work. Um, but uh, anyway, so I am replacing with this guy here on the sled. And I didn't get too Ooh. much done. Yeah, but you're closing in on that one. Yeah. So I have them all done, except for the guy on the sled. I did have to make uh, some modifications. I had to make the block a little bit bigger um, to match the other blocks. And then the final block here is, uh, it says, button up to the chin till May comes in, and then it says winter on the bottom. So we don't have winter here until May, so we don't need to we don't need to button up to the chin. Uh, so um, there are a few uh, variations that I've seen of that. Um, I was just going to chart um, button up to the chin until spring comes in, mm -hmm. um, which I've, I've already charted it. Um, but then uh, Missy was telling me about some oh. others that. Oh um, yeah. And there was one that I saw that said, um, button up to the chin, let the snow fun begin. Oh, that's a cute one. Um, and then there was another one. I can't think of what it is right now. But there are a couple of variations. So um, um, now that I'm, now if it starts really snowing, um, I should have this block finished fairly quickly. Oh, and this is my needle minder that um, Kathy gave yeah, me. Yeah, those are Isn't terrific. Isn't so, uh, if I get that done soon, then I'm going to really have to try to figure out what I'm going to do, um, for that yeah, last block. Yeah. Um, the other thing is, uh, I, I was, I need to put something in the middle. I want to put something in the middle of each of these blocks and I didn't want it to be a straight line because if I frame it, it's going to be really hard to mm. get that, um, straight, um, so I tried to do a zigzag back stitch, which is fine. It's it, it looks I think it looks fine except when I get down to the next one <laughs> and then trying to figure out how to do the zigzag, make a triangle. It's not as easy as it sounds. Yeah. Um so I might just end up doing just cross stitches. Oh yeah. Get all down. And, yeah. You know, and, um, that will kind of take your eye away from it being right. like a straight, right. you know, looking for a straight scene. Yeah. Yeah. Um, all right. Wow. So good progress. Yeah. yeah. So that's what I did. Um, all right. What else? Finishes? Not a finish. All right. How about you? I have a finish. I have Yay. been working on temperature butterflies all year and each each one of the segments in the butterfly um, translates to a DMC color based on the high temperature of the day. And um, so you start with January, February, etc. Each butterfly represents one month. And wow. I Lee. finished it. You need that? So, no, no, it stands yeah, that fine on its own. Here we go. 
Wow. So that instead of doing it terrific, four across by three, I did three across by four rows. Um, finally finished December. Wow. And um, I think it looks pretty good. It looks lovely. Yeah. Oh, I so, love that. And um, That was some work, huh? <laughs> yeah. Uh, this was, let's see, this was on 28 count Lugana and the color was, um, Glacier, um, by Picture This Plus. Yeah, beautiful and fabric. I have a little bit of fabric on the bottom. Um, I'm trying, oh, stunning. trying to figure out now what I'm going to do, um, to finish it. So, you know, a lot of people have been talking about um, what we're, what you can do for, uh, like, a legend. Mm. Um, and I do want to put a legend in, but I'm afraid that if I actually stitch it on here, that, um, that it might take away from the butterflies. Mm. So... I'm contemplating. But I love I was, the way you could just like look at it and it's like, you know, oh, of course, July and August, you know? <laughs> right, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, so I'm thinking that if I frame it, then what I could do is um, just put, attach to the back the legend. I think that's a good plan. Uh, yeah, so. then you'll have it with it, and you can always refer to it years down the road. That's true. But you won't detract from all the work that went into that. Yeah. 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 I mean, I, I definitely want to put something in to, you know, show, right. like, what, right. what it actually So, like, in, in 10 years, when June, July, <laughs> August, and September look like orange, we'll know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Uh, so yes, that was a that was a fun. It was a very fun project. Yeah, um, I am glad it's over though. I have yeah. to say. Yeah, uh, I have to say. I'm, yeah. I'm glad You're it's not, over because not looking of it. Twenty twenty three. No. Yeah. No. No. It was it was fun to do, um, but I don't need to do another one. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> I was almost gonna try um, uh, a, uh, to knit a blanket like that. Oh. Um, yeah. There's. You know, yeah, like this, that, yeah. different themes. Yeah, patterns um, like that, I, yeah. I was going to get a kit for that at Christmas. And then it occurred to me two things about me. One <laughs> is, inevitably, when I start to fall behind, am I really going to want to have to do, like, you know, 20 rows someday to mm. catch up? Yeah. And also, of course, that you're going to start in January. Yeah. And that blanket's going to get bigger and bigger and bigger. Mm -hmm. And by June, July, August, am I really going to want to be knitting that oh, thing? Oh, knitting a blanket. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So mm -hmm. I got to think about that one okay. a little more. All right. Well, yeah. you, you have time. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you have time on your hands. Right. <laughs> 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 Um, all right. Um, I heard some of us, someone in this room has an FFO. Well, it's true. <laughs> I mean, especially after this, it isn't very impressive. Oh, please. But it is my first FFO of the new year. Yay! And it's, guess what? It's a pine mountain. No way. The stockings <laughs> were hung. That's cool. Well, I think this before is cute. it's gifted to someone next Christmas, it <laughs> probably needs to be ironed and puffed up and put together a little bit more. But <laughs> here it is, an FFO and nonetheless. That's cute. And this is, as Jane can see, huge mm. material, yep. huge holes, a huge count. Um, I don't think it even said in there, but if I had to guess... I guess like ten pound tula probably. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, probably. So yeah. um how many strands did it tell this you to use? Three. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, this was a quickie. Yep. Yeah, yeah, it doesn't, it does. no, yeah. It doesn't say. But yeah. 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 It's cute. 
It's very yeah, cute. That was a fun one. Yep. Oh, you don't want to lose your. No. You don't want to lose your needle. No, I don't. Oh, you put it. You, you yeah. put it in. Okay. Very smart. Oh, and that's it for finishes for me this time. All right. Um, well, I have no Anything FFOs. No, All right. No. Okay. Um, so last time we had, um, we announced the winners. Yes, of, yes, uh, we did. Giveaway. And I did not get to the post office this week, but that is my plan next week. So I know that we heard from um, many people. Maybe we've heard from all of you by now. Mm -hmm. But if not, um, or if you're not sure, uh, please go back and watch our last video, episode number 58. And if you could uh, send your mailing info as soon as possible. And I'll get that out to folks this week. Great. And congratulations. <laughs> Now, I guess we just sit back and wait, hopefully not too long, because uh, I think we'll wait until we get to a 1,000 subscribers, which isn't too far oh, off. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> right. With your help, it isn't too far That's off. That's right. Tell your friends. Right. Yeah. Right. Um, all right. Uh, random acts of kindness. Do you want to oh, go first? Oh, yes, I would. I had a great, I was the recipient of a great act of kindness from our good stitchy friend Kay <laughs> who sent me this beautiful card and some very thoughtful gifts. Kay made this pair of slippers. Aren't these terrific? Wow. Wow. And believe me, they have already been worn. Look at these. These are terrific. They're gorgeous. Oh, I love them. <laughs> I've worn them to bed. Yeah. <laughs> they stay on. <laughs> they are so warm and cozy. Very nice. They are terrific. And then she sent along a With Thy Needle and Thread chart, Souvenirs of the Heart. Mm. And this is Home for Christmas. And it really is adorable. Yeah. That little birdie there mm -hmm. on top of the house and the peppermints and very cute great colors. And yeah. Thank you so much, Kay. <laughs> that was so thoughtful. We very much look forward to stitching with you mm -hmm. in the new year. Yes, absolutely. Anytime. Yes. Thank you. Um, so we got a couple of other um, things here. Um, our friend, um, Tracy, uh, gave me a couple of things and she gave, she, Tracy, OG Stitchery is now, uh, making project bags. So yeah, it's like, like overnight, she, well, it's like one day, it's on one, one day. It's like, oh, I think I'll, I think I'll start making project yeah. bags. And she started making project <laughs> bags and they're beautiful. <laughs> I don't mean to sound so surprised because I know you had it in you, Tracy, but my God, it's like overnight. overnight it was right. It was, it's crazy. Yeah. So anyway, she, um, gave me and Chris, or she, she sent me two project bags oh. and she said to me that, um, she hopes that I know which one is for me. So Ooh. this one is for you. All right. Oh, and this, is this cool. one was for me. Oh. <laughs> How did so. you know? <laughs> <laughs> nativity So queen. the nativity scene, fabric. isn't it gorgeous? And she makes her own zipper pulls. And it's got this cute little snowflake charm on it. It's got beautiful snowflake fabric on the inside. I mean, it's just like, yeah. One day she just like sat down at her sewing machine and started making these. These are incredible. I know. Thank she you is, so she much. She attributes it all to Elizabeth and can and stitch. Can stitch yeah. Right? Yeah. Right. yeah. But Tracy, come on. <laughs> right. This is gorgeous. Yeah. Look at that fabric. Oh. I love that fabric too. That is beautiful. It is. Look at it. And the yeah. matching. Yeah. That is that just, is just beautiful. like a perfect. Yeah, perfect. Right. She's been making the 
Zippa polls for a while now. We've been the recipient of yep, lovely ones on and, that. Yep. Thank you Christmas so much, Tracy. Yeah. No flies on you, boy. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. She stitches. She dyes fabric. Yeah. She makes, makes the now the, she makes bags. Yeah. Now she makes the bags. Yeah. Yeah. One one stop shop. Right. It's good to have friends like that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Thank you, no, Tracy. really, thank you so much. Um, and then, um, well, let's continue with Tracy. So <laughs> Tracy also, oh. um, this is for you. Oh, whoa, we. That's nice. God. <laughs> if you didn't know who it was. <laughs> Look at this bag. It's always Halloween. Look at this bag. <laughs> and look at the, the black and orange <laughs> tissue paper. Oh, that is so thoughtful. This is also from Tracy. Some advice for adjusting to retirement. On Monday morning, set your alarm clock for the usual time. When it goes off, think about work, chuckle, then roll over and go back to sleep. <laughs> Enjoy your retirement. Thank you so much, Tracy. <coughs> oh, <laughs> this is great. This is a pine <laughs> mountain camp. Tracy knows my affinity for these, and I don't have spectacular. There you go. So that is perfect. And Tracy, it's so funny because I have stared at this one so many times and been so close to pulling the trigger. So this is just perfect. Oh my god! Thank and look you at the so pillow. Much. The pillow that came with it. Yeah, is isn't really that adorable? cute. That's really oh, cute. I love, I love that. It. You know I love it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Um, and let's see. We have another one for you. Oh. <laughs> Jeez. I didn't know it was all about me today. <laughs> Is great someone jumping for joy <laughs> on the front and it says congratulations we're so happy for you Chris headed to all the LNS's in <laughs> that's great <laughs> and this is from Kathy and Missy <laughs> oh. <laughs> of two needles pulling thread oh do you think there's a theme here? <laughs> oh, that's great. So that one is from Kathy. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I could get used to this. <laughs> oh. I love this. This one, that's hilarious. Oh. And here's another beautiful one. <laughs> so glad we're friends. Oh, that is just beautiful. And well, thank you both so much. Yeah. What a nice treat. So then, good to have good friends to stitch with in retirement. <laughs> Jane, if I had known this, we would have I know you should have retired long ago. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 See, I'm making it look pretty good, right? Yeah, yeah. I know. I know. <laughs> oh. Well, thank you, Jane. 
This one came with a bit of a warning, though. <laughs> Can't wait to see all the stitching projects you will get done. I can read between the lines. <laughs> get going. <laughs> it's adorable. <laughs> No, here I am making excuses, and here's everybody else uh, producing. <laughs> oh! You can take that out of the package. <laughs> Another one of my favorites. <laughs> I think I remember when you bought this. Yeah. <laughs> Be ye thankful. Oh. oh, and this truly is one of my favorites, mm -hmm. as you know. I've Did you ever it. stitch this? I know you've done it, but do you have it for yourself? Uh, no, no I've, okay. I've done it a number of times, yeah. but I've given it away. Mm -hmm. So that is perfect. <laughs> Very, oh, it's an act here too. 2022. <laughs> In case I forget. The year of your retirement. Yes, yes. <laughs> and uh, th this is great fabric on this one too. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, thank you very much. <laughs> I am all decked out for retirement. That's right. <laughs> there really is no going back now, right? So, right. That's right. Or you have to give them all your presents back. <laughs> <laughs> so the... Uh, this was Missy's idea to oh. stitch to stitch Pine Mountain kits for you, <laughs> and we all thought, "Oh, absolutely, that's an awesome idea." Jeez, yeah. how did, why did this make that? <laughs> that is too good. So. Well, wasn't that apropos that I had a Pine Mountain finish today? See, too? there yeah. we go. There we go. Yeah. Now you're just adding to your collection. Right, you can right. Do them all now. Oh, that's great. Well, thank you, everyone. I love uh, this segment. Yeah. <laughs> What's next week? <laughs> um, all right. Do you have any haul? No. No? I don't. Um, I have a, just a couple of things. Oh. Um, Randy at the World in Stitches was having a sale, so I picked up a couple of things. Um I love these little um, charts by the little stitcher and I've got uh, water water animals. But those are cute. I love the I love the beaver. Yeah, so cute. Um, and then I got a couple of silver silver creek samplers. Um, of course, I got this one. This is called For Unto Us. Um, and I, I do like that. Yeah. yeah. Oh. And I got, um, Missy, you can um, close your eyes for this one. Um, <clears throat> I just thought, I don't know why, but I just thought that this was adorable. And it says... This tiny mouse lives in a house beneath the berry shade. He gathers up the ripest fruit and makes sweet marmalade. <laughs> I've never seen that one. Neither had I. And I just think it's adorable. Yeah. So that's all I got. All right. So just adding to good, my collection. Good take. Yeah. 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 Um, all right, so Boss Me started. It sure did. Yes. Started with a bang. Yeah. Back he called our first two numbers. Mm -hmm. And I guess I kind of let the cat out of the bag, you know, because I did already say I have Last Stitch Cemetery. Yep. Which I'm anxious. You want to explain to the folks what Boss Me is? Oh, of course. <laughs> so Boss Me is our version of Jesse Marie's Whip Call. And we do ours with, it was the brainchild of Kathy, of Kathy and Missy at Two Needles Pulling Thread. And it initially started out with the four of us. And like Jesse Marie, we do it based on a bingo card kind of setup. And there's 25 squares. And last year was our first year. So we thought we'd take it easy on ourselves <laughs> and we'd only do it for six months. Well, that meant 25 <laughs> divided by six is roughly 24. <laughs> mm -hmm. of, well, four with mm -hmm. the one we all do a freebie square in the middle. 
So that meant that instead of two projects, we had to do four a month. And to many of us, to us mere mortals, that was kind of a challenge. <laughs> mm. And I failed I'm, miserably. I'm not counting Kathy, of course, no. in that. Who's comment. not a mere mortal. No, no, no. no. <laughs> and, and Missy often isn't a mere mortal mm, either. Right. But we are mere mortals. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. that was a little hard. So we decided we'd make it easier on ourselves <laughs> this year. We're going to do it and, the right way. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Jesse Marie was certainly on to something, right? <laughs> so um, we've got two squares a month. Mm hmm and I've got Last Ditch Cemetery, um, which I've had for a long time, and then finally was motivated to start the sale, um, thanks to Tracy and Krista. So, um, and what I'm, is that, five days or two days? Five or, days. Yeah. Five, okay. you know, I'm not shooting for the stars on no, this, yeah, but, yeah, you know, yeah. five days on that. Yeah. And then I had five days of to work on a project that I actually might finish. And I could have probably put the 10 days into that, certainly. <laughs> but um, I I was kind of just thinking I needed something a little easier and a take a long project. So that's that's where my time has been. Well, mm. I did, day one, I did do the stockings were hung and I did yep. finish that. And uh, since then, I have been working on Sweet as Pie. So I think, I do think I'm going to see if I can finish that one off, but I'm definitely getting in at least my five days on um, last stitch. Mm -hmm. And right. then, what have you? Okay. Yeah. And you're doing Whip Warriors, too, aren't I you? I am. So I got my um, board all signed up and approved, or uh, my album, for that case. And uh, so I'm certainly, mm -hmm. you know, cross-referencing the two. Mm -hmm. I don't have anything cross-stitch on Boss Me that I don't have on yep. Whip Warriors. And Whip Warriors uh, has different um, variations you can do. I'm doing the 23 projects, 23 whips in 23. And the way that works is when you finish something in a size category, like I finished the stockings were hung, which was a small I could substitute another small project in for that. Mm -hmm. I did a lot of that in 22, and I finished 15 projects in 22, which was good for me, mm -hmm. um, most of which was small. But I think I'm going to try not to do as much of the substitutions mm -hmm. this time yeah. and really work on those 23, especially like last time, mm -hmm. I never got to my BAPs, the big ass projects. Yeah. And this year It's so easy just to replace them right, with a small. Yeah. Yeah. So this year I've got um borscht, yeah. which that's two hundred by two hundred. Um I think that is like the this I don't know if that's the cutoff large or it puts you in the BAP category. I think it puts you in BAP, but yeah. you know, whatever. Yeah. And then Trim. I really want to start Sir Thomas that I Ooh. thought that I would do on New Year's and I didn't. But um, so I really do want to put yeah. significant time into a big project. Right. Yeah. 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 And oh, I guess the other thing I was just going to say about Boss Me is where um, uh, Jessie Marie and her brilliance and all that, she does um, cross stitch, I believe exclusively and we're a little more easygoing in boss me if you want to put in a square like read a book or clean your craft room or mm -hmm. something like that you can mm -hmm. so yeah i don't think i've got too many of those this year but yeah maybe so <clears throat> yeah i did more um stitching this year on my board but I was thinking that there were a few things that I wanted to put on the board that I never, um, I didn't have room for. Mm -hmm. um, for example, one thing I'd like to do is at to every, um, to every uh, retreat that we go to, I want to bring at least. 10 things to put on the freebie table. Oh, that's a good one. 
Um, now it's not on my boss me board, but I, I should know, raise the five on that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, you know, and I thought, well, I thought, well, ten would be ten would be okay. You know, at, if I say at least, because if we fly. You know, I don't right. want to bring, you know. Yeah. But there are some that we're going to be driving to. Yes. So yes. I could bring Just more. Just wondering, but, like, let's you know. say I don't want to carry 10 to StitchCon. Mm. Could I do 20 at New Jersey? You could do whatever you want. Ooh. You could do whatever you want. But, you know, my, uh, my thought is that uh, I'm never going to be able to stitch everything that I have. Yeah. And I want to keep some of the things that maybe I will never stitch just as, a, you know, I might need this little <laughs> motif sometime. Right, right. You or know, the memory or, or, of where you picked it up. Yeah, or, yeah, 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 yeah. But, you know, I have stuff that, you know, I'm not going to stitch. And why not let somebody else enjoy it? So... Uh, that's one thing that I want to do, even yeah, though it's a, even though it's not on my boss me board. That's a good goal. But yeah, the two um, the two things that I got on my boss me were um, to stitch ten hours each. On um, I have a Winnie the Pooh um, chart, and it's uh, the characters and they're in a tree, and then uh, the other one is um, the Ark by Stony Creek, so, and that's mm. stitch ten hours on that too. Um, that's a massive and, uh, one. It is. Yeah. yeah. I, I have a lot done on it. Could you um, get that but, done this year? Are you thinking? Uh, I, I could. Well, yeah. Could. I mean, I, I, yeah, I could if I, if, if that was like a focus, Yeah. you know, yeah. after I finished my boss me, if that was a focus piece. Um, but I have a, other things that are not on the boss me board that mm -hmm. I kind of want to focus on right. too and maybe put right. some stitches in. I don't know. We'll see. And plus, I want to do a lot of smalls. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I, I was retired. <laughs> <laughs> oh, maybe not too long. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, so I think that will do it, huh? Yeah. All right. I think um, that's it. All right, so we'll be back probably in a couple of weeks. Okay. And um, we'll see how much we get done. <laughs> um, until then, um, Happy New Year. And uh, we will see you next time. All right. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.